Hey guys, Kevin here. What I've got here is the Seven Oak Smart Grip SKPSC1. I got this from Amazon for $23.95 and it's around the $30 mark on Amazon.com. You can also get it from China, but I saw it was around the same price. I just got it from the UK. Looks quite good. And what this will hopefully do is make it easy for me to vlog with my phone, but also use an external microphone. And you can also use it without using an external mic, but this has some features which will hopefully make it uh, quite handy, quite useful. I mean, what you can do is you can actually hold it as a grip. You can set your phone down and you can put, you know, something like a video micro or something on the top. On the back, it's got um, some information about how to use it. Um, okay, just before I do that, I just want to quickly quickly talk about um, what I've already got. I've got already, I've already got a lot of solutions already. This this one here, this is the one I found the best. Bought this for about five pounds, and then you know I bought lots of them from China for about a dollar each. Not perfect, but I found it's one of the best. It's got a tripod extension there at the side, which isn't ideal prefer it at the top, but works really well. This one is actually quite good as well. This is quite common now. It's got a tripod thread at the top that you can put on something, but I just find that in comparison to this one, although you can move it around a little bit better, you know, you can see it's nearly twice the size. So I've started not using that because of that. This was the one that came with this tripod. It's just a little one that pulls out. Um, it's the same one. This is probably the most common one that you get with cheap um, selfie sticks and it's not the most secure your phone will probably fall out of that this only fits smaller phones I got it with this tripod out of all of them I think that this is the best one they've got uh, it's quite common and it's very cheap to buy now the problem that I've got is that when you use something like this external microphone so the idea is if I can get my phone here I'll stick in one here. So if I tighten that up. So you tighten it up and you can see here the mic is facing that way. Now if you're recording footage for going that way, that's fine. You know, you want the microphone to go that way. But if you want to do it like a vlog, turn the camera around and like that, then it's a pain because this doesn't sit still. Now on on this one, on this particular grip, then the microphone only goes to the back. When you do it on this one, um, you know, if you attach it to the side and then do it at the top, the mic kind of sits at an angle like that and it's, it's just a pain, so it doesn't work. So, I'm hoping to do more videos from, from my phone. Step forward, the Seven Oak Smart Grip. So I apologize for the long intro, but I think it is important to look at what else is out there and, you know, it gives you a better idea of whether this is good or not. So we've got a manual. We've got the thing itself. It's quite a nice little box. And here it's got here. Now, this is quite cool. So it's got quite a few features that I like. One is that, in fact, I'll use this one. Put in my HTC U11. Right, okay, how do I extend this? I need to work this out. I was just figuring out the mechanism there. This part here can actually go up and down. When you push it down, you will see that you can turn this part here and make it go up and down. Now, apparently this fits phones up to like an iPhone 6 or 7S, so I don't think there'll be any problem I don't want phone calls or anything that coming in the middle of the video. Use this one. Yeah, I don't think you have any problem with the size of this. Seems fairly easy. You can see there's see there's a little kind of indent there. So I think maybe easier if I squash that down and tighten it up. So, as a hand grip, if I was doing this as a vlog, you can hold it like that. I love the fact they've put in this really nice leather strap. It, it looks really nice, actually. And you can hold it like that. 
So that's pretty cool. I like that. I like that. Now, you can see here there's a, a bubble there, and that's quite good as well that you can make sure it's level. Now, the good thing about this is that this part comes off because what that means is that you can put it onto a tripod or a selfie stick, or in this case, it's both. Now, in something like this, you've obviously, you know, this has got a ball head, so this is where the little speech, bu uh, speech bubble level will come in hand handy because you can see how it is aligned. From a size point of view, it's a little bit bigger than the one I normally use, but it seems smaller than the other one. If you can see here, put them up like this. Yeah, it's a little bit smaller. So obviously, but, you know, if I was using this grip, that'd be different, but then that's a different situation because you're kind of using it like a selfie stick or a tripod if you're using that. Seems quite secure. I don't, you know, I don't see me taking this off anyway. You know, I can't get that out. That's pretty secure. So you can see there's a, a tripod thread at the, at, the, at the back here and you've got one at the front. But the most important thing here is this. We've got a hot shoe. So that is really, really good. So unfortunately this thing, because of this extension, I need to use some pliers. But here we go. We've got, this is a video micro. And the idea being, slide it in. Look at that. Here we go. That is perfect. This phone has a 3.5 millimeter jack, which is good. Now, it's the wrong cable, but shows you what you'll be doing with this. If I bring this up, you should be able to see there. That is perfect. Now, if any of you guys vlog or, you know, are looking to vlog with your phone, I'm sure you'll be amazed at this and how good that is. I've actually ordered a couple of hot shoe adapters because I was trying to, you know, make some other kind of setup, but with this, I wouldn't need to do that. The great thing is, because it's a hot shoe, you can, of course, just turn it around. So if you're filming that way, put it that way. If not, turn it around. I cannot stress how useful this is going to be because I, I'm someone that has been using lots of kind of makeshift solutions to try and get these, you know, vlogging setups working with a phone. And this is going to be amazing. This is my, you know, this retails for about £45 in the UK. Punches above its weight for this price. Very, very portable and it comes with its own dead kitten. This is a Shure VP83. It's very like the Video Mic Pro from Rode. And um, you can see here, I've, because of the other phone doesn't have um, a headphone jack, I had to use two adapters. But you can see here that using this hot shoe, look at that. That is perfect. Now, I met a really nice guy uh, at a conference the other week, Jackson, and Jackson, what he was using was two of these, and he was using one to hold the phone and then putting another one there to hold the mic. It's quite a good idea, actually. I really like that. But I think this is a better solution. You've got the spirit level there. You've got a tripod uh, option at the back. You could, for example, put something like that in there. Um, you know, the this little ball head can be used like that. So in theory, I could put something like that in it, extend a light or something like that there. You know, if I was putting it on a tripod, perhaps not walking around, but I could put that and then, you know, put something up there. Um, I mean, it's there at the back anyway, if I want it. This is really good. I really, really like this. And the price is fairly good considering how much, and you, know, you know, these things are cheap, but they're kind of limited. This does exactly what I want. It's going to make vlogging so much easier. So what I'd like to do now is just show you what this looks like in action. Let's check it out. Okay guys, so I'm now down in my living room and you know through the magic technology of mirrors, I'll hopefully show you how this works a little bit better. You can see I'm using the hand grip here. And it works quite well. You know, the, the actual little grip part isn't too big. 
Um, I thought it would be a little bit too small, but I think it's the right size. I mean, anything bigger could be a little bit annoying, and it's just it's the right grip just to hold it like that. Now, the idea would be that if you're walking around vlogging, you know, you could just hold it like this. It's really, really secure. You know, it's, it's the actual grip, and with the, the little grip part at the bottom, is small enough that you could put it in your pocket with your phone in your jeans pocket, and then, you know, just take it out whenever you need to use it. From a, a secure point of view, the phone as well, you know, it's really, really stuck in there. I did speak about that earlier, but I can't stress that enough. With the other holders that I've got, sometimes it just didn't seem as secure as it could be. I've noticed that a lot with the one that I normally use, the one, um, the default one, the little basic one, with the HTC U11, I've got a little plastic case on here, which maybe we see that, see there, see poking out the side. When I put it on in that other grip, the grip would actually hold the case and then the phone would start popping out. Now you've got, you know, you've got a 600 pound phone, that's not what you want. You're a little bit concerned that's going to fall off, hit the ground, smash the screen and then you lose a lot of money, which is a little bit silly. This thing in contrast, because there's a little indent, because you sec secure it all the way in, it's really, really secure and it's a lot more secure than any other grip that I've seen. So from that point of view, it's really, really good. Now, what I want to show you now and I hope this isn't too annoying or too noisy, but I just want to show you how quick it is to take this off. There you go. Two seconds. And then you drop it on the floor so that you make a big loud noise. That's that's the plan. So I'm just screwing in the selfie stick tripod thing. That's it. So if you're you know if you were using that there and I'll pick up <laughs> um if you are using that and maybe you're walking around and you think, okay, I want you know want to get more in the shot behind me, you could do that and then you know just extend it out like the selfie stick, uh, like a selfie stick or a tripod or something, and you're in a better situation then. This is quite good though because it's, I like how this can fit in your pocket a little bit easier than a tripod, so it's, it's good to have that as well. The spirit level thing works quite well. I'm using the open camera Android app, and that has a little thing that says angle. 1.8 degrees, it tells you the, the direction, etc. But it's just, the, the spirit level seems a little bit better. And not for walking around, but if you, because this selfie, uh, this tripod has a, a ball head, sometimes when you position the phone, you don't realise it, but the, you know, it's a little bit off centre. And it's only when you look at the footage later that you realise that. So using this, the spirit level can, you know, can get it in the middle and I, I realise that, you know, the ball head and the phone are level. So that's quite cool as well. Now, the tripod thread at the back and the top are very, very useful. It's going to really expand the versatility of this. It's going to allow you to attach things like LED lights, external microphones and that kind of thing. But it might help you attach it to a certain type of rig as well because not everyone wants to use this on a simple selfie stick or anything like that. Maybe someone wants to attach it to a, maybe a, an overhead camera or maybe something else like that. So I'm all, I'm all for having more additional tripod threads around the grip, so it's good to see that there as well. The hot shoe though, for me, is what sets this apart. You know, I, I noticed, I noticed that, um, I noted that earlier with the, the other grips, you know, the mic would either face one way and it wouldn't move, or it would face like a, a weird 30 or 45 degrees angle. And if you took it off that angle, it wouldn't be as secure and, you know, the mic would just swing around. You just can't have that. Now, a hot shoe, for those who don't know, it's really just a little square. So that means that I can slide this in and it faces me. I can face it the other way and the mic will go um, towards the rear camera, you know, facing me. But because it's a square, I can also face it left or right. So it's, you know, north, south, west, east. It doesn't matter. You can, you can put it anyway. And I think for most people, it'll be forward or back. But you do have that option. Um, you know, perhaps you want to use it instead of a mic, maybe you want to use lights and maybe you want the lights to face a different direction. I don't know. The other thing to note is the, the top uh, tripod thread is directly behind the hot shoe. Now I'm using the Shure VP83. Now you can't see it, see it because obviously the, the phone is facing the middle there, but behind the hot shoe is the tripod thread. Because this a microphone is a little bit longer, so it's, it's a more powerful microphone than the this video micro. Then it kind of blocks the back um, tripod thread. So that's you know if you've got a larger microphone, it's it's probably going to do that. 
this video micro doesn't seem to block it as much as blocking it a tiny amount, but I'm hoping that I may be able to squeeze in something else. For example, lights, LED lights or something else, and I might be able to fit in the video micro and something else. So I could put this in the hot shoe and put something else into the other tripod thread. Failing that, what you could do is if you've got the, the external microphone in the hot shoe and it's blocking the top tripod thread, you can maybe set up a rig using the back tripod thread and you know using a little ball head, just put it to the side and then go up the way, you know what I mean? Like a little L-shaped bracket or something like that. As I said, because there's two tripod threads and a hot shoe, you've got a little bit of flexibility with these things. So I've only been using it for a while, you know, and a lot of these things, you review it, it's amazing, and it's only for a, you know, a little while longer that you realize, oh, something doesn't work as well. But for me, this is by far the best smartphone holder I've ever tested. It is excellent. I can't find any fault with it. It does exactly what I need it to do and I'm very, very happy with it. There's another option out there that's got a similar design called the Shoulder Pod. I think it's Shoulder Pod S1, and that's had quite good reviews as well, but it doesn't have the exact same features as this, and I saw someone who reviewed this one, the, the 7 Note Smart Grip, and they said it was better than the Shoulder Pod, so I'll leave it. I've not tested the other one, so I can't really comment, but this, to me, seems like the best smartphone holder on the market. Bold statement, but that's what... I think it is. Um, you can see on here that you can, if you want, take off the bottom grip and just use it as a smartphone holder. Perhaps if you want to watch a film, put it next to your bed or something. But for me, you don't buy that for this. You buy this for your tripod, for your selfie stick, that kind of thing. And it looks amazing. I mean, it is amazing. It does exactly what it should be doing. I think if you are just needing to do basic photos, basic videos and you're going to use the default mic, you're not going to use anything else, all you really want is a holder for your phone, I would pick up something just a few dollars, you know, from China or from Amazon, pick up a basic uh, smartphone holder and I think that will do the job. But when you want to expand it, when you want to add an external microphone, when you want to add lights, anything else like that, I would step up to something like this. $23.95 in the UK at the moment, $30 in the USA. Uh, the code is SKPSC1, and again, the company is called Seven Oak. And I, I think this is worth the money. So, if you are going to, I mean, if you just want something silly just for a selfie stick or something like that, those are 10 a penny, they're very cheap. Just buy something basic. There's, there's no point in getting this. This is really aimed at photographers and mostly YouTubers and videographers. It's people that want to use the extension and put on some accessories to the top. And the hot shoe allows you to do that. Thanks for watching, guys. Again, this is a 7 Oak Smart Grip SKPSC1. I'll leave a link to this in the description here so that you can check it out. Check out the sales page, etc. I think this is a top smartphone app, a smartphone holder. It does the job and I can't fault it. It's excellent. So I do recommend it. If you have any questions? Put them down below in the comment area and I'll do my best to answer them. And until next time, thanks for watching.